Hello, and welcome to another video. Today's topic is a quick introduction to SQL, also pronounced SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. We'll talk a little bit more about what a query is soon. SQL is a language used to communicate with relational database management systems. Now, this is quite a mouthful, but it's not as daunting as it first seems. To fully understand why SQL is important, we need to understand what a database is. You can kind of think of it like a warehouse. If the entire database is a warehouse, then something like a single data table can be represented by a single filing cabinet. Finally, one of those folders in our cabinet can represent our data. Modern day databases are like warehouses, except all of the information is stored on a server. So now we have an idea of what a database is. So a relational database is one that stores data in tables. Tables have a structured format, columns and rows, and the values within those tables are relational to each other. Nowadays, the ability to store and analyze data is an integral part of many successful businesses and companies, so an understanding of relational databases in SQL can be very beneficial. But relational databases themselves have some of their own pros and cons. On the bright side, these databases make it really easy for us to manage our data. Even in a database with thousands of tables, each can be updated individually without disrupting any other table. This allows us to avoid errors since we don't run the risk of accidentally manipulating data in the wrong tables. Next is flexibility. Adding new tables or data to pre-existing tables is a straightforward and tangible process. We even have the ability to join columns from multiple tables together to create new data tables. On the other hand, we're also presented with some challenges. Relational databases can be hard to scale when datasets grow quickly. These are typically stored on a single server and require expensive hardware and memory to scale up. Another issue is speed or performance. If we are writing complex queries for very large databases, our overall speed can decrease, compromising our performance. Okay, so now we have a good idea of what a relational database is like. So what exactly does SQL do, and how does it work? To use SQL, we write queries. A query is simply a statement written in the language of SQL. When we successfully write a query, we can extract data from a database, join pieces of data together to build new tables, and much more. It's important to realize that the result of an SQL query will be a data table. Since this is just an introduction, let's go through a basic example. Let's say I have a table containing some data of students at my local school. In a real world example, this table would probably have many more rows and probably columns too but we'll start off simple. This table has data for three students and shows off their first names, last names, nicknames, and student numbers. Let's say I'm only interested in the nicknames for students with the last name Ellison. How can we ask SQL for only that specific information? Well, our query would look something like this. Select nickname, student number from students where last name equals Ellison. So as you can see, SQL is a pretty high level language. In other words, pretty close to natural language and therefore pretty easy for people to understand. Those words in capital letters are key commands in SQL that I'll be going over in part two of this video. The point of this example was to show you that our resulting table after writing this query would look something like this. We filtered out unnecessary information like first and last name, and we're only looking at the students we wanted originally. There is quite a handy tool called SQL Fiddle. I will link it down in the description below. I apologize for the quality of this photo, but SQL Fiddle allows you to create your own data sets and write and test queries on them. Mine looked something like this for the example I've just shown you, which may be a little bit intimidating, but with a little bit of practice, it's definitely very doable. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll show you more key SQL commands and how to build your own data sets. Don't forget to like and subscribe.